native of Cork, Gordon graduated with an MBA in 1994. Gordon has spent his career in complex multicultural environments and has extensive experience of building businesses and relationships in all regions of the world, serving in executive director and CEO roles. Well, I first met uh, Gordon Hardy back in 1994 when he strode with some purpose and a long black coat, uh, well tailored, into my office in Irish Distillers, uh, brandishing a job application in one hand and a freshly minted MBA from UCD in the other. For four years, Gordon successfully led the development of Jameson Irish Whiskey in the Americas and Asia-Pacific regions, with the US market now being the largest and most profitable of markets for Jameson worldwide. But one of the things uh, was I introduced him to Australia uh, in my time, and he reckoned he had a lot more to add to that big continent of a country. During his time in Australia, Gordon worked with a number of companies, including Foster's Brewing Group, South Corp Wines and Goodman Fielder Bakeries. His business record is impeccable. Uh, he's a tremendous performer, has a terrific track record of uh, recovering situations. Uh, I mean, his Goodman Fielder record was outstanding. I was being told by the ad agency that their new Goodman Fielder client, a bloke called Gordon Hardy, was a breath of fresh air. Apparently creative, prepared to take risks, wanting to do things differently. And when I met him, it was absolutely true. He took an underperforming business and turned it into something that was a benchmark in terms of world standards. He leads from, uh, you know, from the heart. Um, he's able to take people on a journey with him, build high performance teams based on trust, rapport. My key and lasting impression of Gordon is, is the quality of leadership he showed in maximising the, the performance of the Goodman Field, the baking business. Gordon was also appointed to the Board of Directors of Food Bank, an organisation that delivers food into underprivileged communities throughout Australia. For his work in this, Gordon was the recipient of the annual Food Bank Australia Innovation Award in 2007. Look, he's one of those guys who was always prepared to push the envelope, think outside the square and do things a little differently. He really put in the effort to make a difference and uh, that, that was fantastic. I never remember Gordon as being other than very positive and seeing what others were seeing as a challenge, he would interpret as, as an opportunity. And one of those opportunities came in 2011, when Gordon was approached to lead the food and ingredients business of Bungie Limited, a worldwide agri-foods business, with revenues of $61 billion. To Gordon, this was an opportunity that was too hard to resist. Gordon has been a breath of fresh air for Bungie International. Operational excellence, accountability, transparency, measurement, safety, relentless focus on the customer. He is a person that is always reaching out and always trying to learn and always trying to improve. He's a hands-on guy, without a doubt, but he's a team builder at the same time, and he never stops learning, and he expects the same from the people who work with him. Gordon has led one of the most uh, geographically diverse careers of any Irish leader I know. I mean, he operates uh, on all five continents. He's lived in most of them. And going all over the world, Gordon now leads the global performance and strategic development of the food and ingredients business, with profits doubling since 2011. Gordon is really an example, if you like, of us all how to live our lives both from a, a professional and a personal point of view. He's a great leader. He loves people, he loves working with people. He's a real team player and uh, is, is very capable of making the man beside him the hero, which is one of the great attributes of any sportsman. He's a voracious reader and he brings the things he reads and the nuggets that he discovers to the workplace, and brings them to life. He understands the business, he understands the strategy. It's a remarkable reach that he has and I think he's achieved so much and he flies the flag for us all so proudly. Gordon has been a, a fantastic friend of all of us in the Gaelic Players Association over the last number of years and has been a a real champion in the area of mental health. A natural born philanthropist. Uh, Gordon and Rachel are immensely generous to causes back home, particularly providing access to education for those from difficult backgrounds. He's never forgotten where he's come from and he's bringing it back home. His success hasn't changed in one bit. He's completely grounded 
um, very personable individual. Gordon doesn't do ego and um, I think his, one of his greatest strengths is his humility. I rang him a couple of weeks ago and he was somewhere wonderfully exotic. Uh, I think it might have even been the Kingdom of Bhutan. And wherever he was and whatever the time zone was, I was greeted with a how you buy, which I'm sure uh, was a real challenge for the Bhutanese. Gordon, congratulations. The recognition is well deserved. I wish you all the best uh, and I look forward to seeing you in Australia. Congratulations and enjoy your night. Congratulations, mate. We miss you. Congratulations, Gordon. I think you're a worthy recipient of this award. Gordon, on behalf of all of your friends in the Gaelic Players Association and all of your friends in Cork, congratulations. You are truly a worthy recipient and have a great evening, mate. Cogodicus Gordon, Aaron, a Dewish special to show. Congratulations and well done on all you've achieved so far. Congratulations, Gordon. You deserve this award. Gordon, congratulations. You're a mighty man. Have a mighty night. You well deserve it. <laughs>